type of capital from your home screen, go to your menu under the admin. You're going to see here the system setup, investment analysis, type of capital. This table is used in the investment analysis to determine the type of cost of financing down payment that you're going to require based on the time and direct duration of your loan. So to add a new one, click the green button, add, name it, something that makes sense, and then look at the different items so you can make determinations based on your typical loan restrictions set up by your lender. For example, your first loan to purchase price or your loan to future value. Sometimes people give you 100% of purchase uh, up to 75% loan to value. So depending on those variables, so let's just say we're going to go with a uh, 75% or 80% loan to purchase. And my interest rate, I'm sorry, 80% loan to future value. My interest rate is going to be a 8%. Uh, there is no seconds. And I'm going to pay 500 drunk fees. And the lender is going to charge me one point. If you notice, I don't have commas, money signs, or percentages. That's already preset. Let's do an option where you got a first and second test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my loan to purchase at 100, right? So that means you're going to lend me 100% of the purchase price. And I'm going to pay 12%. And then I'm going to have a second that's going to be 10% um, to future value. And then the second is going to be a 14. And then the junk fees are 500. And then you got a first loan point of one. So now let's look at that, how that works on the other side. So I'm over at my investment analysis and here is my test first. So now my loan to value is 100% of uh, 80% of future value, right? So if you look at the math, so 295 times 80, one point based on the loan, interest cost, junk fees, required capital, that is your total down payment, and then your total hard money. So it's an option based on that. If you need help on this, and obviously run your own calculations to make sure your math is correct.